what we will take you through is essentially a problem based learning discussion so let us look at a 55 year old male with type 2 diabetes mellitus uh, we initially thought we'll do the pacemakers thing also together and uh, this was entirely one of our residents dr dilip so dilip's idea was that uh, because we, with their exams looming in front of them to have something with diabetes i said like okay we'll do it that way maybe take in uh, pacemakers but i think we uh, let's see how it goes may we may or we may not have pacemakers in all right so what we will try and do is uh, with uh, diabetes we'll try and figure out what are the diagnostic criteria for diabetes then i think a lot of the focus you will realize will be about the preoperative preparation and evaluation of such a patient uh, who when he comes in for surgery we'll talk also about perioperative glycemic control and how you do glucose monitoring but you will realize that all this ultimately becomes a very small part of the discussion uh, than i think the second part which is uh, 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 basically evaluation so what is diabetes uh, well the term diabetes essentially describes several diseases of abnormal carbohydrate metabolism Uh, which are characterized by and this is uh, uh, this is a textbook kind of a definition uh, which is also at the cdc cdc is right now everybody knows about cdc for the wrong reasons uh, about characterized by hyperglycemia or and a relative or an absolute impairment of insulin secretion along with or varying degrees of peripheral resistance to the metabolic effects of insulin so these are the three things which are essentially part of this disease conundrum hyperglycemia a relative or an absolute impairment of insulin secretion if you go by this definition you'll figure out that it is kind of alluding to the types of diabetes that we know of and also varying degrees of peripheral resistance to the metabolic effects of insulin okay so then if you realize you have this type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes and you can have this entire conundrum they can be having hyperglycemia impaired glucose tolerance test and also they can start off with just a normal glucose regulation and you also have the other types and chief among them that we hear about is gestational diabetes so when do we label someone as having diabetes okay dilip since you are the one that so when do you call i have given you uh, essentially three columns or possibly even the fourth column okay and there are certain rows you have a normal person you have a pre diabetic you have a diabetic and you have somebody with gestation so and if i if you have access to all these reports when do you say that somebody is normal at what uh, glycosylated levels at what fasting uh, sugar levels and at what oral glucose tolerance test or postprandial water water that you think so when do you call somebody uh, uh, normal diabetic a normal person a uh, normal person uh, when he tests uh, his fasting it comes down to less than uh, uh, 126 and uh, if it 126 mg per deciliter okay okay is, uh, If his uh, 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 postprandial uh, comes out to be less than 140 mg per deciliter, and if his random blood sugar comes out to be less than 200 mg per deciliter, and if his hemoglobin A1c levels are less than 6.5%. So.